Howdy. I know I'm a little sunburnt. I went hiking the other day and um, it wasn't supposed to be sunny. And then naturally, Jesus parted the clouds and just busted sunlight in my face. So I was perusing YouTube as I usually do, just watching stuff, and something came up in my recommended. So this channel called Nectar, I don't think I've seen them before, but it was in my recommended, and it's dating men by their secret red flags versus one. So basically the premise is like, this girl talks to all these guys, gets to know them, and then I think at the end they reveal their red flag. I haven't seen it yet, but that's the basic idea from what is in the beginning. So let's get into it. Salem will date eight guys who all have a secret red flag. They can't reveal their red flag until the end. I am a singer and a songwriter. So I have my debut album coming out um, this year. I'm very excited. If they don't like animals, biggest red flag for me, 100%. Me too, like, okay. People have preferences, but you don't like animals? Fluffy, baby, angels? Out of here. I guess that's coming from the lesbian with four cats, though. I have a lot of red flags. I have a tramp stamp. Some people would find that to be a red flag. I think it's adorable, but that's just me. I like how she says, I have a lot of red flags, and then it's just a tattoo. First of all, I don't think that's a red flag at all. I think a red flag is like spits on puppies or like punches out babies. I feel like that's a red flag. Wants to wait until marriage is probably the worst one that I would identify on here. Sorry, there's history of pooping pants directly next to wait till marriage. You would rather get railed by poopy pants than wait till marriage? Actually, I think I would rather get railed by poopy pants than wait till marriage too. Self-proclaimed liar is interesting. I'm curious to know what kind of lies we're talking. History of pooping pants. I feel like <laughs> that's good to know. Hey. Hi. Hello. Salem, great to meet you. How's everyone doing? I'm nervous. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Do you need water? Okay, looking at all these men, I wanna try to figure out whose red flag is who, and the only ones I remember is poopy pants, liar, and wait till marriage, so let's, let's do some guesses. I think the guy who's offering the water is wait till marriage because it's giving polite little Christian boy. I think the one that has his hand like on his shorts like that, I think that's poopy pants because they think he just sharded and it's running down his leg and he's trying to cup it with his hand to stop it from leaking. And then the self-proclaimed liar. I'm gonna go with red hat. My big three, my big three. Poopy pants, wait till marriage and liars. How was the last guy you dated? Like, yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's, 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 that's the important question right there. He was taller than me. I actually, I recently grew an inch. Congrats. Thank you. I had a growth spurt. No, I, I had COVID really bad and it like triggered a growth spurt. <laughs> COVID made you grow? Hmm. Mm, mm, I don't know. I don't know about that one. How old are you? I didn't see that. I mean, is she like freshly... 19 and growing perhaps still a growing boy covid made me grow now i have to look that up and see if there's like studies to support it that'd be wild all the short kings out there are literally catching covid just to grow an inch she said her last ex was taller than her but i'm pretty sure every single guy there is taller than her so if that's her only requirement so far they're all they're all in to win it grow from you covid the... apparently <laughs> yeah. can i get covid <laughs> you're not an aries by any chance right like I'm not. I'm a Leo. Leo. Oh, that's right. Okay, cool. I think that's like my, <laughs> my biggest deal breaker. Your biggest deal breaker is a sign. Oh my god. I I can't stand when people choose to not like people over their sign. Like astrology, fun, cool. Literally choosing who you will date by their sign makes absolutely like no sense to me. But I guess it's kind of the same as religious people, right? Because there's like Christians who will only date Christians. And I guess I guess there's Leos who will only date Leos. I don't know. But um, points to the guy who remembered her sign while this guy had to ask. That's not, it's not a good start for you. And also immediately being like, I wouldn't date you if you were an Aries. This isn't looking good for you, buddy, in the little cardigan, little cardigan boy. If you have a bad relationship with your parents. That's, Ooh, that's a good one. That's, true. Yeah. that's a good one. Yeah. Um, I've not been in a relationship still, so... Sorry to pause again. Did he just say, my red flag is if somebody doesn't have a good relationship with their parents? That's so messed up because, like, it's sometimes not the kid's fault. A lot of the time it's the parent's fault. Like that is the parent. Why is it a red flag on the kid if their parent is toxic or mean or gave them like a bunch of issues and they like are working through that and are like, I don't want to be around my parents. 
I feel like that's, mm, that's a weird one. That's the strange red flag. I've seen like other guys say that before though, where they'll be like, my red flag is if she has daddy issues. And it's like, are we, are we just judging people based off their experiences with the person that like they were forced to live with? That's my red flag is him saying any of that. I am not a fan of that guy so far. And girls that bring up their exes, that's a big deal breaker for me, I'm like. See, I never understood the, oh, it's a red flag or it's toxic to bring up an ex. Especially if you were in a long-term relationship or something, that ex is gonna be a part of a lot of your stories and a lot of things that happened in your life, good or bad. And so when you just never bring up your ex, it's like you're removing a large part of your life story that your partner should probably know about. There's a difference between bringing up your ex and being like dreamy or missing them versus just like, this was my ex and they're a part of like of my life story. Like that's just part of it. If they don't like tomatoes or onions, like that's a no-go <laughs> for me. Tomatoes and onions. Yeah, okay. I've had I've had bad experiences with that in the past. So um, huh. if they're not like- Bad experiences with people disliking tomato and onions? <laughs> God, she's perfect girl, 10 out of 10 amazing smile, beautiful laugh, great sense of humor. Oh, just my full type, but she wouldn't eat my, she wouldn't eat my onion. And then um, definitely like somebody who's like family oriented, you know, if they don't have a good relationship with your, their family, then that means they're not gonna really have a good relationship with you necessarily. Nice. Again with the family stuff, I, th I don't get that. If you don't have a good relationship with your family, therefore you won't have a good relationship with me. That makes zero sense. Are you, are you her father? I mean, I guess you could be her daddy, but, oh. Ah! Get off the internet. We're gonna have you eliminate three guys. Oh boy. I am going to eliminate Murado, Andrew, and Parker. I'm sorry. It was great hanging out with you. It's all good, great to And talking you. to you. Andrew, you are just a little too young. <laughs> I'm sorry, but so sweet. It was great meeting you. And both of you do music, and I think that is so cool. But I've really only ever dated musicians, and I'm trying to experience new things outside of that. I think those are all really valid reasons for docking them out, because I was like confused why. I, I honestly was like, I don't know how I would eliminate three of them. I know nothing about any of them except the two that said the family stuff. But that's like such a reasonable thing. She's like, oh, I want to try new things, date people with different experiences than like I'm used to. And then on top of that, one's too young. And on top of that, one's the guy that I'm pretty sure pooped his pants. So maybe she also caught on to that. That's why I come Honestly, out of I wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you see the guy who just like went like that to the guys who got voted out? Oh God, that hurt. That internally, I felt that. <laughs> I don't know. That just gives douchey vibes to me. Say hello. Jeremy, right? Yeah, Jeremy. Yusuf, again. Say nice hello. You. you too. How are you? I'm doing well. How you holding up over here? I'm good. Yeah. I'm gonna say right now I have like no riz whatsoever. <laughs> you don't need riz to like have a conversation with somebody. Like you don't have to step into something like this and be like, you're beautiful and I love your eyes, and you just remind me of summer's day. Like, you can just sit down and be like, oh, so what are you into? What do you do? It's nice to have a little bit of confidence, maybe a little risk, but I don't think it's needed, especially in something like this, like just a one-on-one -on -one conversation. That was, is crazy, though. I love it. So oh, is, it, is it thrifted? Is it? No, nothing I'm wearing right now is thrifted, but I do love thrifting. Yeah. Yeah, my Sunday tradition is usually going to the Silver Lake flea market. There you go. Uh, I have one older brother. Love it. You said you're your only child, right? Only child, yeah. I always wanted an older sibling, though. Why? That's the, the dream. <laughs> What's your favorite movie? Favorite movie? Uh, I like The Breakfast Club. Really? Yeah. I've never like, seen it. Really? You've never seen The Breakfast Club? I feel like that's just one of those movies everybody's seen. Like, that's one of those things where no matter what, if it comes up in topics, somebody's really into it. I'm when I was hiking with my friend the other day, she literally was like, That's my favorite movie! I feel like that's like, just a common one. Like, I could understand if like, maybe like a 13 or 14 year old hasn't seen it, but like a grown man, it's, it's just a classic. I mean, I'm not judging him. I'm not like mad about it. I'm just like surprised. Do you like being comfortable? Sometimes. Sometimes? <laughs> Do you usually watch your movies at home or the movie theater? I actually haven't been to the movie theater in LA. Yeah. yeah well, I mean, I've that been. makes sense because, you know, they usually don't have snacks inside, so. <laughs> Okay, all right, so so now we now we know where the Riz is. We found the real Rizzler. Dude, are you a wizard at the school of Rizzardry? Hmm. Is there any red flag that you think might belong to him? 
I'm gonna give him wait till marriage. I don't know if he's the guy I originally gave wait till marriage. I don't think he is, but I'm switching him to wait till marriage. He's giving, he's giving that energy with the little hands behind his back, with the little cute snack comment. I don't know, it's kind of giving wait till marriage. Flag would be yours. Maybe broken engagement? Well, you said that you were introverted, um, so maybe trust issues? Because I assume you're extremely busy, have never been in a committed relationship. I don't know. Is that a red flag, never being in a committed relationship? I mean, I guess it could be because that could mean that like you're kind of a player and you play the field a lot and that you like don't like to commit. But then again, that can also just mean that like you haven't met somebody that you're super, super into, but you're totally willing to if you find the right person. Yeah. It's cheer. I right. did, yeah. I took a, a cheerleading ago. class. Did you? Fact. Yeah. No way. I was in a musical called Bring It On. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah I love Bring It On. And I had cheerleading in it, so I had to take like a cheerleading course, I guess, or nice. to train me for the musical. <laughs> His red flag is like theater student. <laughs> <sighs> I'm not coming for you. I was a theater student. I was a stage manager and a tech manager. I'm aware that's my red flag. Did it? I learned some tumbling. Okay. I can do a pretty mean handstand. I can't. I, so you're ahead of me there. I'm, I'm I can't even do a cartwheel, oh, honestly. I can do a cartwheel. Yeah. Did he just say he's rising? There. I'm, I'm rising. I can't even do a. <laughs> There's just something so awkward about telling yourself or telling somebody else that you are currently rizzing. Oh, he said, I can tumble, I can do a handstand, and I can riz you, girl. Oh, and this is after he said he can't riz. This is just too much, too much, too many riz, rizzes in a sentence. Sorry, buddy, you seem really nice and great and fellow theater student. Yes, I understand. <laughs> I'm rizzing all over right now, dude. I can't stop rizzing. I feel like you would have lots of interesting stories, but maybe that would go with liar or self-proclaimed? I don't know. I hope you're not, though. <laughs> liar, okay. She's clocking him as the liar. I don't know, maybe. I don't think so. And then the self-proclaimed liar. I'm gonna go with red hat. I mean, her reasoning makes sense. Is like, you have all these fantastic stories and if they're all true, that's cool. But like, I feel like you've gotta be lying about some of them. I'm not, I'm not sure. It's hard because I haven't seen all the red flags. I'm really just sticking to my big three. Maybe not the, he's definitely not the broken engagement. He seems way too like shy and soft, but maybe that's why he is kind of shy and soft is because he just went through heartbreak. I don't know. Um, I think I have. Yeah, it's a hard decision because everyone is super sweet. You eliminated three guys earlier in this round. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you which red flags those were. First one was trust issues. Okay. So that Dang, that was like the... That, that was my poopy pants. pants. Okay, so I was wrong about poop pants. I was wrong about poop pants. I need another one. Pick another one. Pick another one. Um, Yusuf, I'm giving you poop pants. Sorry, I just <laughs> did the only one I remember the name of. The second one was history of poopy pants. Oh, I was so intrigued about this one. I wanted to ask the story behind it because there has to be a story with this or multiple. Damn it! It is what it is. It is what it is. What it is. Sorry, the cats all looked at me like, is everything okay? And the third one is waiting until marriage. Nice. Okay. I've got two wrong already. What was the other one? What was the what was the other one? Wait till marriage, poops, pants, and liar. Who was my liar? Who did I dock as who did who did I chalk up to be liar? I feel like when I see him I'll know. Oh, so I was wrong. The youngest one is waiting until marriage. You have a journey ahead of you, bud. So can you tell us the first person you're gonna eliminate? Okay. I am going to eliminate Chris. I'm sorry. It was great to get to know you though. No worries. It was a pleasure meeting you. Me so too. my red flag is I do still live at home. Okay. Yeah, my family's super cultural. I have older fam elder parents. That's financially smart and culturally a thing. I know he's about to say that because he said something about his parents, but yeah, that, that's also just financially smart. I mean, as long as you don't plan on living at home forever, like you don't expect me to get into a king size bed with you and your mom and us to all like cuddle, that's fine. Like get your bag. You'll be buying a house before I ever will if you're living at home right now and working. So I kind of have to look after them. Um, yes. But yeah, that's that's my red flag. I don't think that's a red flag, honestly. Yeah, no yeah. worries. Um, I'm gonna go with Yusuf. I'm sorry. All good. Great to meet you. You know. Nice to meet you too. Mine is has never been in a committed relationship. See, I said he was shy, and I that that makes sense. That makes sense. I feel like I'm all over the place. 
I don't know, on the go for the past couple of years. So it's kind of like every time I talk to someone, we just we go separate ways and I come back and it's not the same feelings. That so makes sense. That's why I've never been in a committed relationship yet. Nice. Yeah. Nice meeting you. You too. Have a good one. Wait, there's four red flags left on the board. Is one of them like hers? Is there more than just the tramp stamp? <laughs> Imagine it's up there and it's one of the guys is the tramp stamp. <laughs> he turns around and he like bends down and there's like a lightsaber across his fucking I have to eliminate Tyler. I'm sorry, but it was so good talking to you. It's great energy too. Um, so mine is being labeled as toxic and it's not me labeling it, it's just that the appearance gets by a lot of people, so like, huh. tattoos, piercings, chains, and talking to different women makes it kind of seem like I am toxic and talk to a lot of people, so. Wow. Yeah. I never would have guessed that. Yeah. That's so interesting. But, that's something that somebody that's toxic would say. I'm not saying he is toxic, I don't know him, but being like... Yeah, I don't label myself as toxic, but girls label me as toxic because of the way I dress and all the women I talk to. That's... I'm not saying he is, I don't know him, but that's not like the greatest defense for that red flag, but I am noticing Liar is still up there. You both are so sweet, and it was so good to get to meet both of you. I am going to eliminate you, I'm sorry, just mostly because I felt like I connected a lot with you, you're very easy to talk to, nothing against you at all. No worries. It's just process of elimination. Thank you. But really great meeting you. My red flag was a uh, Liar. Oh. <laughs> she dodged a bullet and I'm gonna be honest I was gonna pause and say oh I was rooting for him I liked him it's because he's a liar he got me he got me he lied to my face she she did good I'm excited to see what this guy's red flag is I know I keep pausing but I'm really into this this is so interesting although I'm surprised there's not like a third round it's just like two rounds, eliminate three, and then eliminate everyone else and be with one. I don't know, we'll see how it ends though. Yeah, so, um, Okay. you know, usually people think, you know, I over promise or false promise. And then also like, you know, because I'm just trying to get them so excited, you know, just to, you know, make something happen. Sometimes they're just like, oh, like you're bluffing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. or, there's no way that's actually gonna happen, so. Amazing, Hi. thank you for picking me. Of course, yeah, great to meet you. Good to meet you, I'm excited for a seat. Um, <laughs> So my red flag is a broken engagement. So I moved out here with my ex um, in 2020, mm -hmm. and then we broke up 2021. So uh, after that, I just spent the first like year just not dating at all, just really trying to figure out my own stuff. And I feel like that's the least bad red flag out of all those red flags. I think that's the one that I would have wanted to choose. You were in love, you thought they were the one, you found out they weren't, and you're moving on with your life. She picked smart, uh, she did better than I would have done. She really killed it. My red flag is that I indeed still share a dog with my ex. Um, <laughs> we got a dog um, while we were together, and the dog and him are like best friends, but it is my dog, but I would feel you know, really bad keeping them apart. Yeah. So definitely no, that's not a not a deal breaker Matters at all. That. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. Easy one. We can make it work. Yeah. <laughs> I, I see why that's a red flag, but I guess I also not, like as long as he's nice and as long as they're not still in love, as long as it's respectful, but I can see why some people would be like, your ex comes over and picks up your dog, so you see your ex a lot and you probably speak to him a lot. I could see how that could be a red flag. It's not nearly as bad as like, you're gonna shit your pants at my wedding. Did you say you're going to the flea market after this? I am going to the flea you market. You wanna go to the flea market? That'd be fun, yeah. Let's go to the flea market. We should totally go yeah, to the flea market. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, when I was 15, I got my first job at McDonald's. I didn't really wanna make a bad impression and he told me no bathroom breaks. So I stuck to that. Um, I was working the window and I thought I had a fart. It was indeed not a fart. You wanna talk about Riz? That was Riz. You're going to the flea market after this, right? I'll go with you. Let's go. Let's make it a date. Now that is that is a man who's also immediately jumping into it. He's like, let's not play games. Let's not wait. Let's go to the flea market. He seems nice. He seems like she picked probably the best red flag out of them. He's handsome. He seems sweet. So let me know if you like this kind of reaction content in the comments. I, I enjoyed this. And with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate y'all. And um, I think I think I'll just close up the video with that. Bye.